And the next read aloud is going to be Melusine by Lynn Reed Banks, who wrote the Indian in the Cupboard books, which I've read the whole series of. What is the sinister mystery of Chateau Bois sur Pay? Roger, his parents, and twin sisters arrive at the crumbling ruin in the wilds of France, anticipating a holiday that's different. And so it proves, but not as they'd hoped. The owner, the brooding surly Monsieur Serpe, has a strange daughter, Melusine, whom Roger first meets tending her father's goats. She is like no girl he has ever seen. With her brusqueness and her expressionless black eyes, and as he gradually befriends her, he begins to realize that there is something very wrong about her, about the chateau, and about her life within it. Roger senses a cry for help. How can he know that by trying to answer it, he will involve himself and his family in a shocking drama that reaches its climax in a grisly discovery and a sudden death? Lynn Reed Banks has written a compelling mystery story which examines the complexity of human relationships while carrying the reader along on a rising tide of suspense. I have not read this, but I thought it would be a good end to summer. There will be Louis Sacher, there will be Phyllis Rel Reynolds Naylor, and there will be John Belair's In the Near Future. But now we are back to a favorite author on this channel, Lynn Reed Banks's Melusine, and we'll see you in chapter one.